is beginning the new year in the most joyous of ways, a reunion with a loved one who spent several months in the hospital suffering from COVID-19. WVTM 13's Chip Scarborough tells us about the life and death struggle and the challenges that lie ahead. Rosie Coleman was wheeled out of UAB Spain Rehabilitation Center Saturday morning, nearly three months to the day after she was first admitted to UAB Hospital for COVID-19 treatment. Coleman was placed on a ventilator, unaware she was in the fight of her life. I didn't know about it. Because my grandson told me that he, he, couldn't, he couldn't take it. He cried and he cried and he cried. Once she did realize what was happening, she wasn't sure she'd make it through. Coleman says it was excellent health care and faith that helped her prevail. All my neighbors and church members, and they, they prayed for me and my family. They prayed for me to get better. When Rosie Coleman was on a ventilator here at UAB Hospital, she couldn't have visitors or talk to anybody. Family members were able to keep tabs on her through video chat. The only thing you can do is just see her on the video. You know? yeah. Every now and then she would wake up, but you know, for the most part, it was just trying to talk to her and just staying prayerful. Rosie Coleman is grateful to be alive, but says it'll be a while before she's herself again. If I can walk better, if I could use my right arm, I could, I could do better. A reminder of the lasting impacts COVID-19 can have. In Birmingham, Chip Scarborough, WVTM 13.